Hey folks, Wayne Taylor, Honest Home Finder out at Camburn, Taylor Morrison in uh, Lake Wiley slash um, Clover. Sorry, just want to make sure that dog barking was properly tied up, which he's not, but he's not coming this way, so live and let live, right? Panning a lot on this first one because out here at um, Camburn, I keep wanting to call it Brayburn. I'm sorry if I do that during the video. These are big lots. These are all over a half acre. I'm almost positive on that note. I know they're pretty big. I think this one's 0 0.6, 0 0.61, something like that. Man, this is a Tremont A. A is just for the elevation. And I really like this stone. Out of Brayburn before, actually when it was with a, also with another company. Look at that beautiful, lanes cutting, chair molding, whatever you want to call it. And was surprised by the size of the lots. It's not a super ridiculous price point either. This little office, library, study, whatever you want to use it for. God, it's big too. Pedestal. I'm trying to remember if I've been in a tree mall before. So you don't see a lot of homes with the cathedral ceilings that often. I like it. I think it's a special feature. Makes places look a little bit different. Got some uniqueness to it. But I guess it's a pain in the ass to clean. Swing through. See how big all the backyards are in this neighborhood. I know that looks like a long way off. I do have the camera on widescreen. Like I mention it too much, but I don't know how many people watch my other videos. I do that because the rooms will look tiny on a regular um, regular angled camera. I guess I should just say it like that. I've always used the widescreen for these shots. This butler's pantry. This is going to be the doors to your actual pantry. That's where we came in. All right. Let's head over to the downstairs guest suite. Washer and dryer hookups downstairs. That door leads to the garage. I love this room. Not only the fact that it's pretty big, if you're gonna have anybody living with you that needs the downstairs room, you don't want them all cramped up into a 10 by 10. And it's got their private bathroom. I do see a lot most builders are doing it nowadays if they've had a at least a couple of options of having that guest suite downstairs just the world we live in we have guests that are going to be coming to stay with us sometimes for quite a long while but in this floor plan the tremont you don't have to save excuse me share the bathroom with guests all right let's head upstairs made it up Look down, or we just hit the secondary bedrooms first before we hit the master. This one's pretty big. I usually don't walk all the way through them because rooms are rooms. But this one does have the Jack and Jill. Shared bathroom between two rooms. actually really big for Jack and Jill. 
your kids are going to still squabble. Don't get, don't get too excited. Full bath upstairs. The last secondary bedroom. And as always, if there's anything specific you want to find out about some of these floor plans, just let me know. Alright, master bedroom. This one's pretty darn big. And a raised ceiling. I assume that's according to this plan. You don't see that a whole lot in uh, floor plans, models, than you used to. Just usually stick a tray ceiling in, but whatever. I actually kind of like it. I do try to keep myself out of these videos. I'm just paying to look at me. Sometimes it's unavoidable. Dual vanities and they're separated. I think I'd like that. But I have asked around about it. And it's kind of hit or miss. It's all about the functionality. More room for something else instead of having vanities separate versus side by side. Okay, that is going to do us for the Tremont. Wayne Taylor, Honest Home Finder, Taylor Morrison, Camburn, Lake Wiley, Clover. Thanks, guys.